Hey, this is Sarah from Sarah Liza Fitness. Today I am making Sloppy Joes. I love Sloppy Joes because we have some of the people in our family who are gluten free and others who are not. So it's really nice when I can make something that we all can eat in our own different way. So I, for example, might have my Sloppy Joes on a wrap or my daughter might have hers on a gluten free bun. The two younger ones who aren't gluten free they will probably have theirs on a regular bun that they enjoy. So, let's make Sloppy Joes! Okay, so before I started making the video, I already chopped up the onions, the green peppers, and the celery. And I put them in a pan to brown them with the hamburger. So let's go over and see how that's doing. Hamburger and the vegetables are sauteing nicely, getting nice and browned. Okay, so it looks like the ground beef is nicely browned and the vegetables are soft. And because I am frugal, I don't spend as much on my meat as other people might. And a lot of times too, if I buy grass fed, quite often they only sell it in 80% lean or 85% lean. So sometimes I use grass-fed and sometimes I don't. And most of the time the hamburger that I use is 85% lean. So what I like to do then is I like to drain off the fat. Okay, so I just put a strainer in the bowl where I had the vegetables after I chopped them up. And I'm just going to dump this in here. You don't want to pour grease down your sink in case nobody's ever told you that. Once it gets hard, it's going to clog your pipes. So that's all in there. And then, when you lift it up, you've got all your fat, or most of the fat, left in the bowl. And you can just go ahead and pour the hamburger and vegetables right back in the pot. Okay, so once you've drained the fat off the hamburger and the vegetables, then you want to add one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. So, and Feel free to use organic for anything that you want to. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I'm just not that particular about certain things. I use organic onions. I generally use organic celery. Sometimes I use grass-fed beef. Sometimes I get grass-fed milk, it just depends. So this recipe was given me by a neighbor where we used to live and um, we all just loved it and so I've been making it ever since. So thank you Kathy. So next you want to put in a half cup of ketchup. Love little spatulas they come in so handy for things like this okay and then it, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of vinegar now I generally use apple cider vinegar because it's very good for the body you can also use white vinegar distilled white vinegar that's fine isn't this cool I have a two tablespoon measuring spoon I think that's awesome so I'm gonna pour in my apple cider vinegar and then because Sloppy Joe's is kind of a sweet and sour meal, it's kind of a sweet and sour taste, you've got the vinegar and then you also need to add two tablespoons of sugar. I generally will use this organic sugar. You also can use coconut palm sugar. If you're sugar free, you need to have it sugar free, you can just add a little bit of stevia to compensate for that. But you have to be careful how much you add. You're going to have to do it to taste. Two tablespoons of sugar. All right, and then the next two ingredients are two teaspoons of salt. There's one. And there's two. You can add less salt if you want. It's salt to taste. And then it calls for pepper. Two teaspoons of pepper or to taste. I'm just gonna use one. I think one is enough. 
The recipe does call for Worcestershire sauce, but I never use that. I just don't keep Worcestershire sauce on hand, and I haven't noticed that it tastes any different than it did when Kathy first made it. So it's in the recipe, but it's up to you if you want to put that in or not. So go ahead and mix that all up. All right, once you have everything in there and you've got it all stirred up nicely and nicely blended, then you can just let it simmer on the stove. Generally, I cover it and just let it simmer for at least an hour so that the flavors can blend together. And then you can serve it on a wrap, on buns, gluten-free buns. You can put it over zucchini. Um, I know some people put it over potatoes. You could put it over spaghetti squash. Uh, just, you know, depends on what you would enjoy eating it with. And then also you can put the, the sloppy joes in your crock pot too. So if you wanted to go ahead and make this in the morning or make it the night before and have it in the fridge overnight and then you just put it in your crock pot in the morning and turn it on low and let it simmer there all day. So yeah, you can just leave it in the crock pot all day or if you want to make it like this, then go ahead and put the cover on it. And, you know, have it on a low heat, a simmer, and just leave it for an hour, and you're good to go. Enjoy, and thanks for watching.